Hey guys, it's Ajax from Team High Society, and I wanted to do a review today on a really nice, small PDB and OSD. And this was my test platform. It's a Tweaker 180 FPV Attics Edition with the 2204 size motors. Um, this happens to be a Lux flight controller, which I'll be reviewing shortly as well. However, um, you can't really see it under there, but I just wanted to show you the test platform. Got a printout here, but it's a little bit easier to see, and when we discuss some things, it'll be worthwhile. So let me go over some of the features first. Um, it is a uh, power distribution board with a built-in OSD, and it has a current shunt, a uh, five volt regulator for your flight controller, and a 10 volt regulator that can power your um, camera. Uh, it's got active LC filtering on it. Uh, the OC, the OSD rather, provides a flight time display. It so shows the battery voltage. It shows you the, the current draw and the milliamp hours used. Uh, it also has a two-stage low battery alarm on screen uh, so that you know when to land, if you hadn't noticed already. And uh, it has PAL or NTSC modes. Let's talk about the specs. This thing supports three or four S batteries. It has a rated current of 100 amps max. Now, um, on a 180 size frame, I wasn't able to test that, although I think I saw 50 amps worth of draw on the OSD itself. And I've got some video that we'll play at the end of this, so you can check that out. Uh, the dimensions here are 36 by 36, so it fits in the same footprint as almost all the current flight controllers, whether it's the, you know, SP Racing F3, or the Naze, or the Lux, or a CC3D. They all fit on this, so you can make a nice little, uh, nice little stack. Uh, and it's about five grams in weight. Um, one thing we should talk about is price. Uh, it's listed at $34.99, that's what I paid for it. For the convenience of this, I'm okay with that but some other people I've talked to think it's a little high, so your mileage may vary. One thing you'll notice is that the ground side and the positive side for the ESCs to connect to are just big open pieces of PCB. And I was concerned that maybe it would be a little bit hard to wire or to solder onto these, uh, not because there wasn't enough space, but more because, you know, if you solder one on here and you solder one next to it, it'd be hard to hold them on. It turned out to not really be that big of a problem. I was able to easily get all four ground wires on here and all four positive wires over here. And there's the resistor for the current shunt. Your battery connects here. And um, like I said, this is just a super nice little package that has an OSD. It, you know, obviously it detects the voltage and the current which for a little um, racing quad or an acro type quad, that's really all you're looking for. Um, it has a port here. There are some pin headers over there where you can connect to your VTX and then another set of pin headers right behind it that you can connect to your flight camera. It's kind of hard to see on here, but I have one set of pen headers soldered on right there which connects to the VTX and then I actually soldered pen headers onto the bottom and ran a cable to the camera in the front and you know I have it on these nylon standoffs so like I said it makes kind of like a little stack
now that you've seen what the actual OSD looks like, let's give you my final thoughts on this. I think that it provides everything that it needs. It's a super convenient package. Um, the only downside might be the price. However, for how clean of an install it does, I'm okay with paying the price. With all that said, I just want to finish up saying thank you guys. We really um, appreciate your support. You know, we really appreciate your likes and subscribing to the channel. Um, it makes us want to keep doing what we're doing. So thanks again. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.